Well, certainly. I tell you what, Frank. I mean, given you know, like when people actually see what it is that you can do <laughs> with with first XNA Studio over there, which is that's free, right? Right. Okay, so XNA Studio is free. Um, now the version actually, just to make sure that that will connect to the 360, you got to pay for that. Is that correct? Right. So the the okay. bits that actually get downloaded onto your Xbox 360 from the Xbox Live Marketplace, uh, there's two components. One component is the XNA Game Launcher, which is actually free. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, it won't run without the subscription, which isn't. <laughs> okay. So the subscription is um, ninety-nine dollars for a year, and that gets you one year of the program running for sure on your Xbox. Okay, cool. So, so that's what it costs to be able to deploy to the Xbox. Exactly. Now that's not it. bad. That and is not bad at all. And run it. So now uh, the deployment is finished. Is that right? That's correct. And so now we're actually running, and you can get an idea, you can see there's the new XNA logo, so I kind of lied when it's all secret, it's actually right there. Uh, this game was done by a, a company in Germany called Xtreme. Uh, they've also done a couple of other games like Arena Wars and some other uh, uh, examples of Microsoft's managed code doing cool things like, uh, for example, Rocket Commander. This is running at full 1080p uh, at 30 frames per second. Um, that's a, a really phenomenal achievement uh, when you think about the fact that this is all C-sharp, it's all managed code, <laughs> it's all being jitted on the fly as we are running here. Um, you can see we go ahead and push start, we actually have an option screen, um, it actually looks and feels like a real game. <laughs> Uh, we have three different cars right well, now. Well, it is a real game. It is, yes, exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's alpha, but it is an actual it's real, a real game. game. Um, so you know, this blows me away. I mean, that is C-sharp, you know, managed code, yep. running on an Xbox 360 at 1080p, right? With 2x anti-aliasing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and, only, and only on a single core. Exactly. The other two cores are just sitting pretty in. Sitting, and... waiting for something to do. Uh, now we are we are uh, spending a lot of time on the graphics processing unit or the GPU in the Xbox 360 yeah. right now, but this gives you an idea of how phenomenally powerful that is. This processor that's in the Xbox 360 today is as powerful as you know state-of-the-art graphics cards that you go to the CompUSA and buy today for about a hundred dollars more than an Xbox 360 costs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. uh, you're getting a lot of value uh, when you buy an Xbox 360 and then add this to it and you're now programming on you know very much the state of the art. Cool. Um, we have three different tracks. Uh, these little diagrams don't really represent what the track looks like. Um, but we have beginner, advanced, and uh, expert. Uh, do you think you can handle expert? Oh, you're going to do beginner. Uh, do beginner oh. The expert track has a bug in it. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, but cool. I can do the advanced track as well. Uh, I've spent a fair amount of time playing this. So we're running at 30 frames per second, 1080p, uh, 2x uh, multi-sample anti-aliasing, which means we're essentially drawing the screen at two times 1080p resolution and then downscaling it um, to get rid of a lot of the jaggies and uh, uh, you know poly polygonal artifacts that occur and you can see that uh, you know we've got a really decent frame rate. Um, very nice physics on the car. Uh, you can see it's laying down tire tracks there. Those actually persist. We'll come back around the track here, and those will still be there. Um, I use C sharp to make like database apps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the time has come <laughs> for C sharp to. That is just amazing that that you can do that with C sharp and uh, manage code and. So let me have the little just, loop here. Um, this yeah. is a this is a pretty significant challenge. I make it look easy, but uh, it turns out the first time you sit down and try and play this, it's uh, it's much harder to get around that than you think. Yeah, I, mean, I tried to do that when I first came in, and I, I landed the car um, very 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 poorly. Um, but uh, yeah, that just blows me away. Um, so a lot of the other things that you get with Xbox, um, you get uh, by using the Xbox uh, XNA part of the framework as well. So for example, um, maybe this music doesn't appeal to you. And you know whatever your personal tastes are, that's fine. The slide out for picking your own music works just like it does with every other Xbox 360 game. I can go into select music and on my hard drive, and I can pick. I don't actually have anything on here except the sample album, but I can play Sample Song One now. So, in using the XNA stuff, like you're not dealing with a crippled system. It's it's no. uh, just full blown 360. You have experience. access yeah. to all of the stuff on the Xbox 360 that professional developers do. Now there are a couple exceptions in our first release. Uh, probably the biggest one will be access to Xbox Live and networking. Okay. So we're working on uh, how to secure that. Uh, number one, but number two, we also want the same experience in terms of development and programming uh, on Xbox that you would have on Windows. So when uh, yeah. there's a team here that's working on. 
uh, bringing the Xbox Live um, experience in terms of network games and so forth to the Windows platform as well. And we want to use their APIs and we want to use their code and have, again, that single unified code experience. Uh, this game runs exactly the same on Windows as it does on Xbox 360. Uh, in fact, if we go back to the options screen, uh, one of the interesting things is you'll actually see that we support all of the different pixel shaders back to pixel shader 1.1. So, and very low resolution, 640 by 480. So you could run this game on a GeForce 3, okay. essentially a six-year-old graphics card, and it would work just fine. Um, it, so, would, it would run, okay. it would run at a very fast frame rate, again, depending on what attributes you picked and so forth, so that you could be sure that you would be getting the best experience. So just to be clear to everybody, like, with, with this stuff, you don't need to deploy to a 360, you can learn how to develop for the 360 on Windows, Yes. and you can, you don't even need, like, a top-end system, you can use an older system, and uh, and it'll still be alright, because you can run yep. at 640 by 480, and... Uh, Yep. Just turn some of the features down, and that's really, really cool. Yep. So you're making game development extraordinarily accessible, yes. is what you're doing. I mean, manage code. Um, you got this really cool ability for 99 bucks here to be able to just send everything over to the Xbox. I mean, that... The, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing stuff. I mean, yeah. the other thing to keep in mind is that all of the code um, that runs XNA Racer... Uh, runs XNA Racer exactly the same on both Windows and Xbox without mm -hmm. any code changes. Mm -hmm. um, right now, the exact same code with like maybe 0.1% differences, where we have some if def Xbox 360s in there, um, really runs identical to the Windows side of it. And the cool part about that is, is that again, uh, exactly as Roy was stating, you can go ahead and have the whole development experience on Windows and know that when you say, okay, I'd like to see it on Xbox now, it's probably going to work. And it's well, gonna work let me okay. ask you a question here, Frank Savage. Mm -hmm. We're running. We're, we're developing. We're getting everything together okay. The thing's on the 360. Can you set a breakpoint? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here, um, let's see, where are we? So we're in the base game now. Um, let's try and go somewhere. Oh, here's the update. This is probably running every frame. So I can go ahead and kick a breakpoint here, and you can see that we actually stopped on the input here. And um, over here, the game has actually stopped. So we've actually stopped. The music is still playing, again, because Xbox likes to do things in the background for you. So the And that's not part of the game, that's part of the Xbox core service, right? Exactly. So, so the core services on Xbox are all still running, even though we're in managed code. We're, we're a fully compliant client with the Xbox. And again, we chose to the dashboard to play this music, so the dashboard is going to go ahead and keep playing it for us. Can you step? Yep. We can actually step line by line through this and get an idea. For example, here's how many milliseconds it took me to, to wait and, and... or actually, no, this is how long the game's been running in milliseconds. That is awesome. Um, and you can see that... Uh, I mean, do people get this? Off. The guy just <laughs> set a breakpoint on a 360, right? <laughs> yep. On a retail kit on an Xbox. Series. Yeah, you don't need a special 360. I mean, you, this just blows me away. Yep. So Usually, we make sure that the elapsed time is yeah. never zero. You know, frame count this second is this is how many we've done. This is the total frame count so far in the game. Uh, as one second elapsed, well, then we calculate the, that. We update the sound. And then uh, huh, basically keep running. And again, we have the call stack here so you can see who's going to call us when we step out of this. We'll go back to the update code. Again, the Xbox um, or XNA is providing an application model or a framework so that your game runs very quickly and easily. So, for example, one of the things we can do. Again, we can go ahead and tell it to stop. It goes ahead and stops, and again, the dashboard's going to continue to happily play music for us, because that's what we're to do. So we'll go ahead and tell it to uh, be nice and quiet now. And um, one of the cool things about this is, this is how hard it is to basically set up a new project. So I go in here and I say, new project, and I want an Xbox 360 Dude, game. Xbox 360 game is a project type. That right. is so awesome. Okay. So we basically say, okay, we want a new Xbox 360 game. And there it is. We now have a new Xbox 360 game. And you can see, you know, here's where you initialize your code. This is the template that you get. Here is where you do any resource management. So you've here got all the comments in there so the devs aren't totally lost exactly. when they open this up. So they can do this line by line and go through. Here's where your update logic goes. We have a function called update. Here's where your drawing code goes. We have a thing called draw. Can we do like a hello world? Would that be really, really hard? No. <laughs> Let's do well, hello world. Or... Depends on, it depends on how you want to say hello because we don't really have a lot of font capability okay. <laughs> built into it by can default. You, can you do a really simple, stupid hello world here for yep. us? So if you, again, if we just hit run right now, we're going to go ahead and build this and deploy it to the Xbox. Okay. And we're going to run and we're going to clear the screen to cornflower blue, which is... Uh, 